Alright, my wife, everyone. <clears throat> I am back from the two day break. Ahara redeemed calm down 10,000 points. 10,000 points well spent. Since I was already calm, so now I'm super calm. So I hope you enjoyed spending those 10,000 points and good evening to you. So I will be resuming Community Chest 3 shortly, but before that, as suggested by you, I'm going to be taking a look at a game called H Rot. Rot. I'm going to call it H Rot. I guess that's a, that was as good a way to pronounce it as any. So, this is another FPS demo. Uh, a single player retro FPS set in a small socialist country neighboring the Soviet Union, Czechoslovakia, after an unspecified disaster in 1986. Those times were dark and terrifying, and so is the game. You start in a civil defense shelter deep under a Prague metro station. As a proud holder of the military readiness badge, you know what your duty is. Put on a gas mask, roll a pistol, protect the peace, and your socialist homeland from the strange intruders. Which apparently includes madmen in raincoats, kills of protective suits, autonomously attacking dogs, horses, and goats. <laughs> So, the classic gameplay and vibe of Romaric Shooters. There's a link, by the way. The classic gameplay and vibe of Romaric Shooters from the 1990s. Romaric? Is that even a word? Romaric. Uh, let's see. Romaric. 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 Again, all kinds of things. <coughs> duck, duck, go. But I'm not seeing anything for Romeric. Is that supposed to be a reference to John Romero? <laughs> the classic gameplay vibe of Romeric shooters, including a fitting brown retro aesthetic, possibly a hybrid between Quake and Daikatana. It's just an interesting term, Romeric. Hi, John. I fully understand Romeric. Do you now, Steve? Well, please tell me what it means. I think they're just playing on words with Romero. You'll find a shotgun, SMG, rockets, and secret experimental Soviet battery-powered weapons. Like a ball lightning launcher. If you run out of ammo, you might find the hammer and sickle coming in handy. Handcrafted levels inspired by real locations with an emphasis on historical details. Every level contains socialist power 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 paraphernalia, which nowadays can only be found in museums or your grandma's attic. East of Walk only. Flushable toilets and destructible light bulbs. A custom engine written in Pascal, imitating 1990s software style rendering with unfiltered textures and polygon jitter. Okay. So... Hey, well, I'd miss it thanks for 25 bits. Factory description of the game. Um, so it's a retro FPS from a small people using the Pascal engine. Then here we are. Press key. So this demo was suggested to me by O'Hara Soulsphere. Uh, apparently it's, well, an old school FPS set in during the 80s, during the Soviet owned Czechoslovakia apparently. Customized controls, mouse option, general option, sound option, video options. Okay. But <laughs> it must be the style of John Romero. What else could it be? Language. English or Chesky? Okay. Sure. So, I have no idea how long this is going to be. I don't think it's going to be a long demo. 
Very easy, easy, normal, hard, or very hard. We'll put on normal. This rat. Wow. That was a very quick world time, I gotta say. Wow, this is... Skinned milk. Well, this is very brown. No ammo. I got a grenade. I have no more pistol ammo. This door opens elsewhere. This feels very quake to me. Submachine gun and a medal. And lots of ammo. Oh. Okay. Uh, right quick throws grenades. I guess. This door opens elsewhere. If you've played. I've never played No One Lives Forever. You can use it. What? The bike? Oh, wow, I can use the bike. Interesting. <laughs> Even the turn speed and reaction times feels very... Well, looks like we're in the sewers. Okay. So... If I'm right in saying this, you said the Pascal engine has been around since the 70s? Like 50 years? This has been around? Hey, Mr. Zool, thank you for the host. This is, uh, Herat. Yeah, hate rot. A demo suggested to me by O'Hara. Oh, it was reworlds on the weapons, which is a bit... Well, that's a thing. Dust clone. Oh, I have a hand cannon now. Guess that's a grenade launcher. I feel it's way too much like a mark of a Quake 1 clone so far, and that's the font they're using. Yeah, that's what I thought. This does feel a lot like Quake 1, but... With the crowd. So welcome everyone from Mr. Zool's stream. Hope you had a good uh, session doing whatever you were doing. Do I have to... Is there a... Is there a quick save option? F6. Cool. Wow, I can move the candle. That's nice. Need the rusted key. I have no idea, Francis. Then hello, Mike. And I punch demons. I don't think it's very long, though. I think it's... I don't think it's too long. So we have weapons with reloads. Yep, 
Yeah, it's the same ammo type as a grenade, so it's a grenade launcher. Oh wow, it was on fire. That was kind of cool. Very nice. He's jump. <laughs> what was that jump? That was a crazy looking jump, let me tell you. Mad bonkers. So it looks like it can be looks like that was them being set on fire, I guess. Gotta drink your milk. If I recall the secret exit is a tough one. Oh, you're talking about community chest three. Yeah, we'll f we can figure it out. UNC 060. Yeah, there seems to be um, this uh, a swipe. Oh, I can't crouch. I guess that has to be accessed another way. Out. We got dogs. We got dogs acting a bit like fiends. Bullets. Oh, so it's not the same ammo for the for SMG. It is the pistol. They are using different ammo sort of things. I see. We also have shells. I guess means we're supposed to have a shotgun at some point. Or we... I do like the fire effect though, that's kind of nice looking. Oh, it's cool, I guess. Shoot the light. shoot the light. That's cool, I guess. Oh no, it's a dog. Oh wait, that's not a dog, it's a horse. Oh no, a horse. So you want to play dead, do you? Alright, well, I'm giving you just to make sure that doesn't happen again. show up from? How could he have... Why did he just show up there? That was weird. Above. That was 
I just killed a horse with a gas mask on it. My mommy. Talk ya. Yeah, it might have been nice to be able to, uh, I damn it, I can use some health now. Today I like Dusk or Medieval Ion Fury. I love Dusk. Love the Ion Fury. but no shotgun for them. This music is very strange. It keeps going. How about a medieval? A medieval? I didn't, I didn't like a medieval as much. It was alright for a bit, but later on it just got a bit annoying for me. Dvorak, 1841 to 1904. What secrets do you have, Dvorak? Oh. Oh, what the fuck is that? What is that? A flying... Okay. A flying... head. Yeah, sure. Don't forget to dig up dirt in the graves. Are you serious? Oh, oh God. Actual skeleton. Oh, that helps. This is an odd game. Oh, it shots blind you temporarily. Is that a shotgun finally? Soviet shotgun. All right, at last. Yeah, some armor wouldn't go on this either. I'll settle for the Soviet shock, though, I guess. Have some semi skimmed milk. So, 
so this is very Quake 1-ish, isn't it? Even the enemies seem to be like Quake 1 type style enemies or something. Oh, so let's jump onto that, okay. Oh. Hey, Alcinado, how's it going? We're just checking out a demo for a game called Hate Rot before I resume with Community Chest 3 business. Oh. Lots of skeletons. Uh. Oh, God. And a spider. Well, this is a little dark. God, it's like. Loads of skeletons. Got the rusted key. We seriously need a color besides this washed out brown. Wait, how do I get out? I have a key, but now I have no way to leave. Oh, right, flashlight. Oh. Spiders. That's what it came from. Flashlight. Oh wow, is that actually doing some proper light reflection? It's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> Those darks were terrifying in Souls' game. Yeah, they seem to be trying to channel the uh, the atmosphere of the late '80s. guy came back. Not for long. I show sure that fucker. Okay, be fast enough. Thank you, Francis. Oh, the old fish too. went past up there. <laughs> A quick one found that contender for brownest game of all time. Only two more to go. That is a whore. Oh, bye enemy. I just poured it out. Wait, is he climbing out the water to attack me? Are they actually swimming?
Yeah, there's a bit of a lack of punch to the shotgun, but... Weapons seem okay, I guess. They have weird jump heights when they jump against something. Anyway, it is. Depop. The antithesis of Spectrum. It looks like they're using uh, very fast projectiles as well. These aren't hit scanners. As much as they are just firing very fast projectiles. Must be me. I thought I saw like a giant turn in the sky or something. Like where you can see where it's sort of blending together, but it's just the effect of the weird, extremely depressing looking spiral thing. Yeah, apparently Pascal's been around since the 70s, so this is like a very old engine, apparently. whole sky. Yeah, well, but... Yeah, there's a, there's, a, there's a lack of sort of... Oh, that was the end of the level. Oh, I killed everything. Found no secrets. This is so brown, I'd like to get onto Community Chest 3. Colors will be welcome. Yeah, even the intermission is very quake worn. Yeah, that's a point word, Misfit. This is an actual city. It, it looks quite nice, though, in a way. Uh, the creepiness of the skeletons kind of stands out with this sort of thing, doesn't it? This, but really, this ritually feels like a... I mean, for all intents and purposes, if I told you all right now I was playing a Quake map set, and this was like the first map, you'd believe me, probably. Upset that the guns don't have a lot of impact or anything. Oh, that's it. It's one level. Thanks for playing Hot Demo. Endless mode unlocked. Episode 1, 9 levels and much more stuff will be released later this year. I hope. For game news, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Cotolo out. Thank you. If you told me this was modified dark Twitter, I'd absolutely believe you. You can now press escape. We can Google John. <laughs> Man, it end. I guess it was brief. 20 minute demo. For a game that is really trying to be Quake 1. I wonder if anything happens if I leave it for a few more seconds after it says press escape. Or whether that really is it. Yeah, I guess that's actually it. What is endless mode then? Just playing the same map over and over again? Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, it's a wave based. Okay. Let's see if we can run over someone this time. Ha 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 ha! 
<laughs> I have a speed rating for the bike. Oh, there's actually some achievements. Aside from the one I just got, which is completionist. There's over 10 guys on the bike. There's like six achievements for the um, demo. That's a, that is a quake one explosion noise. Oh, there's no graves this time. So it's a modified version of level... Uh, level one, but with the levels. <laughs> Even the grenade is just swallowing. Checkers of Accu in 1980 X is really this brown. Well, I killed 23 enemies and I made it to wave 5. Alright. I think that's all. I think that will be all for, for now. So, what did we all think of this demo? Aside from it's just like Quake 1, but a mod in a different engine and with a bit of a, a Soviet theme to it. Pretty rough, to be honest. Yeah, I think the main thing that I found is, again, um, there's, a, there's a sort of a lack of feedback to, to most some of the weapons. Like, they don't feel punchy enough. Like, the weapons themselves seem fine. I like the Gibbs and the models and the lighting and the general sort of atmosphere it's trying to go for you know i've played a few games that are based around soviet era russia it's a good era to make spooky fps type of version if you wish but just a lack of punch to the weapons honestly is the main thing you know in a good game the weapons have a nice sort of punch a sound to them makes them feel powerful you know and these ones seem a bit lacking. Now, I don't know anything about the Pascal engine and how impressive this actually is for that kind of technical feat, but they're also weird enemies. Really captures that sort of Eastern European vibe they have in games sometimes, where they just go completely crazy with enemy types. You know, why well, if you've ever played like, uh, I guess, Stalker or some other I played a few I played, I can't remember the name of the game but there was this Russian game that was you had to kill giant chickens at one point they basically really like to sort of have weird enemies in their games and set it in Soviet era Russia it's odd shit worse than Quake 1 yeah I, I like the atmosphere of this game, though. You know, the part with the skeletons and the darkness was a little creepy. Could be decent. Not exactly something that is as impressive as, uh, as impressive as impressive as say like the atmosphere of Hell Hunt, which had a really cool atmosphere but was a bit puzzly, I guess. Um, or. Um, 
Gloomwood or something like that, but might be good, might be an okay game. And certainly it's always nice to see a demo. You know, in the era of early access, it's always nice to see a game developer willing to release a demo that we can play. So if you are interested in the, uh, the demo, there is the link for you on Steam. And maybe I'll keep an eye on this one as well. So thanks for bringing it to my attention, O'Hara. So maybe I'll play this when it comes out. We'll have to see. It is very much Quake 1 though, isn't it? Right.